Hello friends, welcome to this second video in the series for graph theory. This is second video will deal with the degree of a vertex and other related concepts for the degree of a vertex. Come on, let's get started. The definition for a degree of vertex. The degree of a vertex of a undirected graph is going to be the number of edges that is going to be incident with it. What do we mean by incident? Incident meaning which is being attached to it. This degree is going to be denoted by DEG of V. Say suppose we have vertices. Say let me name this vertex as A. And we are going to have say 3 edges that is going to pop out of it. Then we say this is going to be edge E1 is incident with A. Edge E2 is incident with A. And edge E3 is going to be incident with A. In which case there are going to be 3 edges which are incident with A. Therefore, we say that the degree of the vertex A is going to be 3. Now moving on, we see that an edge of a graph that is going to join a vertex to itself will be referred by the name loop. A loop is one that is going to originate and end over there in the same vertex. In which case, when we count for the degree of that particular vertex, the loop will contribute 2 to the vertex as it starts and stops or ends at the same point. So say suppose this is going to be my vertex A which has one edge which is going to pop out out of here and then there is going to be one loop and there is going to be one more edge. This is my edge E1, this is going to be my edge E2 and this is going to be my edge E3. Now this edge E3 which is going to start with A and end in the same point A will be referred by the name called as loop. So the edge E3 is a loop. Now E1 contributes 1 to the degree of A, E2 contributes 1 to the degree of A but E3 which is starting at A and ending at A will contribute 2 to the degree of A. Therefore this case we will have degree of A to be equal to 1 plus 1 plus 2 which will be taken as 4. So degree of A will be 1, 2, 3 and 4. Next we will see what is meant by the concept called as isolated vertex. The degree of an isolated vertex is going to be 0. That is, if there is going to be a vertex with no edges attached to it, then such a vertex will be called as isolated vertex. And what is going to be called as pendant vertex is, if the degree of a vertex is going to be equal to 1. So, if the vertex has degree to be equal to 1. So, there is only one quantity which is going to be out of it. Okay. Now, so this... Over here, let me have A, B, C and D to be the four vertices of a graph. Now, when I name, what will be the degree of the vertex A? 1, 2. Two edges are there. So, degree of A will be 2. What will be degree of B? Degree of B. B as 1 edge to move out of it. So, this will be equal to 1. What will be degree of C? Degree of C also has one edge with it. So this will be 1. And what is going to be degree of the vertex D? D has no edges which is either entering or leaving it. Or just being attached with it. And hence you call the degree of D to be 0. So now the name for D will be referred as isolated vertex. Because we see that the degree of the vertex D is 0. And the vertex which is going to be B and C are referred by the name called as pendant 
vertex so since these two are going to have vertex to be equal to 1 what do we call them as pendant vertex now let us take an example and see how we are able to form the degree of the given vertices so we will see what are going to be the degree of the vertex v1 degree of your vertex v2 degree of the vertex v3 degree of vertex v4 degree of the vertex v5 degree of v6 and degree of v7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 vertices so when it comes to v1 you have 1 2 and there is a loop over here so 3 and 4 a loop will contribute 2 so this makes it as 1 2 3 and 4 so degree of v1 is 4 how about degree of v2 oh for v2 we have 1 2 3 4 4 edges which are incident with v2 so degree will be equal to 4 how about degree of v3 1 2 3 4 so degree of v3 is also 4 how about degree of v4 v4 has only one edge that is incident with it so this degree will be equal to 1 degree of v5 what is the number of edges that are incident with v5 there are no edges which are incident with v5 so this becomes 0 and we call this vertex v5 as isolated vertex degree of v6 is going to be 1 2 3 so degree of v6 will be 3 how about v7 it has 1 2 3 4 4 edges that are incident with it now we see that degree of v4 which is going to be equal to 1 will be referred by the name pendant vertex okay so these are going to be the way in which I can measure the degree of a particular vertex for an undirected graph. Now the concept will be entirely different when you have a directed graph. So what do we mean by directed graph? If the edges carry a direction from where you say this is going to be called as the initial vertex and the point where the edge ends as your terminal vertex so this has a direction of flow and a graph with these kind of arrows showing direction will be called by the name directed graph so when it comes to a directed graph the number of edges with v as their terminal vertex is called as the in degree so how many of them are moving towards your v will be denoted as in degree denoted by degree minus of v the number of edges with v as their initial vertex initial vertex means they move out okay so here they move in and over here they move out how many of them move out of the particular vertex will be called as out degree and it is denoted as degree plus of v okay so in degree is denoted as degree minus of v and out degree is denoted as degree plus of v now for the directed graph we have something called as a source and a sink what do they represent a vertex with zero in degree will be called by the name source and a vertex with zero out degree will be called by the name sink what do you actually mean by a source a source is a point from where the things or your forces are going to emanate from so this will be called as a source and what will be a sink a sink is one where every quantity gets drained into okay so if you have all the arrows to point towards one particular vertex then that particular vertex will be called as 
a sink. Now notice this point D. All the vertices are going to be moving towards your D. So this becomes my sink. And now what is happening is the point of A is that it becomes a source. From A it is going to move outwards. So this will be source. Uh, I am sorry about this diagram. Uh, this has to be in. Okay, so it cannot move out. There has to be no edge over here. So it is 1, 2, 3, 4. Only 4 vertices. There are going to be 3 edges which move towards here. So what happens over here? This will be called as a sink. The arrow moves towards it. So you call this as sink. When the arrows move out of it, then you call it as source. So this is like all. So what does it measure? It measures that it is going to have in degree. So how many of them are entering in A? It is going to be 0. So how many in quantities are there in A? It is going to be 0. So 0 in degree, you call this as source. How many of them are going to go out of your vertex called as D. So there is going to be no edges that is moving out of D. All of them are only moving in. So this is going to be out is going to be zero for it. And in which case you call this to be an sink. Okay. Now let us explain these concepts more with a perfect example. Let us have four vertices called as A, a B, a C and that of a D. Okay, now let me have directed lines called as my edges which happens to go from your A to D, sorry from B to A and one from over here A to D and let there be a loop. Okay, so it starts and ends over here and a D to C which is going to be like this. And let me have one which moves from D to B. One arc which moves from D to C. And the next arc that moves from C to D. Okay. So now for this particular graph. Let me find out what are going to be my in degree. And what are going to be my out degree. So when it comes to in degree and out degree. Let me first name the degree minus of A, degree minus of B, degree minus of C and degree minus of D. In a similar way let us mark this as degree plus A, degree plus of B, degree plus of C and degree plus of D. Okay now let us start what do you mean by in degree? How many of them are getting in A? How many of them are entering in A? 1 enters A, 2 enters A and there is a loop which 3 enters A. So the in degree of A is going to be 3. Okay. What is going to be the out degree? How many leave A? How many leave A? A loop is 1 which enters and then it is going to leave A. Okay. So it enters and it leaves. So this is going to contribute 1 to my out degree. So notice that when it is an undirected graph, a loop will contribute 2 to a vertex degree. But when it is going to be a directed graph, 1 will be given to in degree and 1 will be given to the out degree. Now coming to the vertex B. How many of them move in B, inside B, there is going to be only one entry over here. So in is going to be 1. What is going to be out, how many of them move out? 1, 2, 2 of them move out. So the out degree is going to be 2. Now coming to C, how many of them move inside my C? 1, 2, 2 of them move in my C. And how many of them move out of C? Out of C you have only 1. So out degree will be equal to 1. Now moving to the last vertex called as D. How many of them are getting inside my D? Inside my D there is only 1 which enters over here. And how many of them move away from D or out of D? 1, 2, 
3 and so this is going to be the case. Now we notice one more concept out of this in degree and out degree. Let me add up the in degree value 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 and let me add up the out degree value 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we know that every edge is going to contribute 1 to the in degree and 1 to the out degree. So in which case summation of your in degree will always be the same as summation of your out degree. So this is one more concept that can be verified for any directed graph. I hope that this is going to be the next quantity summation of degree plus of V of V is the same as summation of degree minus of V and what is this equal to now? This is nothing but number of edges of your G. Okay. So you can take this as a theorem now for any verification. So the theorem is summation of in degree will be equal to summation of out degree which is equal to the number of edges of it. Hope the concept of the degree of a vertex for both a directed as well as an undirected graph is now clear with the concept of a source and a sink and the concept of what is meant by an isolated vertex and a pendant vertex. Happy learning. Keep learning. Thank you.